Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a magical day and this is your today even more magical because today we're doing the Kudu Black Work and I'm very very excited because it turned out pretty colorful. I was kind of scared to be honest in the beginning because I was like I need to pay close attention to what's gonna happen to the layers and layers of basically transparent colors of her outfit which I love this outfit of hers that's why I chose this uh, kind of shot because it shows so many parts of the colors that she has It's so pretty, but it also has a nice large area of yellowish to reddish So it basically keeps the face the most centered part it, How do I explain it? It basically has not extremely too much color so you can pay attention to the face But it's also showing to a nice degree not extremely the amount of colors you can have in this outfit and it's really really cool now, as you can see here the the skin tone is a lot better than how it looked on the camera with Ben Mako and Ben Mako's skin color is kind of like this one so yeah you can see it now um, I had a lot of fun making both artworks this was really I think easier because it's a smaller size artwork it's an A4 whereas the Ben Mako was an A3 which means that this was half the size uh, that's why I also chose such a close-up picture because I wanted to get every detail right since it was that small that much smaller I didn't want to get anything wrong by choosing to make it a smaller size Since when it comes to me, I work better in uh, bigger surfaces give me something tiny I'm not gonna do as a detailed job as I would in a huge artwork or a mural or something I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried a mural yet. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to when it comes to like a digital one, but you'll get a video today explaining that. It's an update video explaining what my big surprise is for 10,000 to reach, goal to reach 10,000 since we've reached 9,000. And uh, yeah, the plan for basically, well, I'm, I'm in university and during difficult times <laughs> and times where I need to study, but I also want to make some videos. Uh, so yeah. Um, that video is gonna update you on all that, so go and check that out after this one. Also go check out the Ben Mako one if you haven't. I had a lot of fun making both of them. As you can see, I'm adding a bit more detail, slowly building up the layers. I feel like that lower part was the only one that I kind of struggled with making. I took it the wrong way and then I found a technique that works for me. And continuing on with that one, I shouldn't have added that much water. It was a bit... Eh, <laughs> but oh well, what can you do? Um, I really enjoyed just like the detail that I could put because of how close up this was. Um, Kurupo, the artist, our beautiful Miku, was so so much fun to listen to. I must say like the pop, the more let's say heavy towards heavy kind of pop music that she brought was just so fun and so upbeat and so cheerful. Again, I must mention, like, that's the song that I would put on just dance around a room. It would be the perfect song to cheer me up, to wake me up, to get me... Or even, like, the lyrics of uh, parts of her songs are, like, the perfect ones to motivate you and make you want to, like, improve yourself and do better and also help the world. I love her messages throughout her songs. She writes her lyrics herself and she does such a good job. It is beautiful like the lyrics and the story she builds up how beautifully she does it so it's not like too direct and there is a few messages not only in her lyrics but also her music videos it's so beautiful i love the detail she pays uh to this even though her us her solo self is let's say i don't know if it is like second to the band for her i would guess so uh but the fact is that i see as much like attention being paid for both of them and it's so cool. I love that I basically did two artworks for both April Fool's pranks that the girls did. <laughs> because it's so cool to think that the girls put so much work into making a prank video for April Fool's that it ends up looking so good, like Van Mako and Grupo, that they actually continue with it. It is beautiful to see like the attention being paid to the point where you're like, oh yeah, we want more of that, you know? <laughs> We don't care if it's an April Fool's prank. <laughs> Go ahead, we want more. It's so fun. And it's so cool to see that Miku wants to make more. Like, I can see through her thoughts in the music videos. And how she connects them together. That she definitely wants to continue and eva like, evaluate and develop even more. And, like, add 
and connect her songs together and like give more development to them and depth as she goes on because with every song with like the latest one with you also we got a completely different vibe through the nightlife but also through the music um i have to say and it was so enjoyable so brand new and interesting but it also felt like it was a kurupo song and it was beautiful to see and that like influence and like a vibe that she gave oh, it was so beautiful and just so pure and honest like it feels like they're coming they're actually like the lyrics are thoughts inside her head or thoughts that anyone would have inside their head at difficult times so it's beautiful to see all that like develop and become thoughts and actually happen and like get spoken out loud because other people might have those thoughts and it's crazy to like see them develop and happen it's so pretty and so fun and i must say i absolutely love them i enjoyed this so much and as you can see here i've already added let's say the pen i really like how the facial expression came out I think I could have achieved a bit of a closer result to how Miku would look in that thing. I think I did a bit too much of a black under eye. If I added a bit more white, it would have connoted. I think it would have been a bit too arcade. I also wish my the, the shadows wouldn't have been so strong on the face. It's a bit too strong. <laughs> like if it was a, a bit lighter yellowish, it would have been better. But yeah, anyways, that's the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had a fun time. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click the notifications that will be sent. Go check the update video so you know what's gonna be up uh, next week. And if you're up for it, you can join me. If you're not, uh, I think after three weeks we start with Bandmade again. So take a look at, uh, check out that in three weeks. And if you're excited, I hope you are. Thank you again for 9,000. Um, subscribers that is crazy when I say it but yes and bye bye for now